I ate a piece of pie. No, I gotta be fully honest. I ate a big piece of pie and I ate it with ice cream. And then I was like, wow, you screwed up because you were supposed to be fasting. Hey, you guys it's your girl Mila Shea welcome to my Chanel so I am just going to go ahead and like just get straight to the point like I just got done working out I'm on a fitness journey and I have two videos a part of this fitness journey series um, that I will be doing. I'm doing the Chloe Ting challenge to get abs in two weeks. We'll see. And I am also doing, what am I doing? I'm so lightheaded from just like killing my body just now. I can't even think. Um, oh, I'm also doing Chloe Ting's booty challenge. And on top of that, I'm doing my regular calendar workout, which I do blog Lotties with Cassie Ho. So that's what I'm doing. But for this video, what you guys will be seeing is me intermittent fasting. I'm going to do it just straight up for two weeks and see the results and see like what's gonna, what's popping. I can't even talk right right now. I literally just put my body through hell. Anyways, intermittent fasting is whenever you eat in increments and you fast in increments. I've done my research on it. And before I even decided to do it, there was a guy at my job Dylan, if you're watching this, hi, buddy. Him and his fiance were doing intermittent fasting. Hi, Annie. They like it. So I didn't think much about it at the time when he told me. And so we're here now, though, because I have to do something. Basically, what y'all need to know is I eat. I eat like a lot. I eat a lot, a lot. I eat from the afternoon because I don't really wake up early in the morning. So I eat from the afternoon to the midnight so five in the morning and then I'm asleep and then I'll wake up and do it all over again. I eat a lot. So to change that, I am intermittent fasting, which I'm doing what's called a 16, eight interval increment, whatever you want to call it. I have an eight hour window to eat and I have a 16 hour window to burn fat. So basically your body goes into a fat burning mode when it doesn't have food for a while and it's not starving yourself. It's not. If you do it right, you're not starving yourself. So my body will be burning fat for about 16 hours and then I'll wake up and eat for eight hours. I don't really eat all those eight hours, but a lot of people um, will go ahead and they'll eat like... 200 calories and that's not healthy they'll eat 200 calories and then they'll let their body burn that for 16 hours and i'm like what is it burning air particles no that's not how that works i am actually going to be eating whatever i want for the next eight hours and then i will let my body burn the fat so come along with me into my kitchen since this is day one and I will show you what I'm eating. For the most part, I am gonna try to drink water. I haven't really been drinking water for the past times. And if I do drink a soda, I'll probably drink like five bottles of these on top of it just because you're really not supposed to have sugary drinks. But it's hard, okay? It ain't easy. We can't quit cold turkey. So come with me into my kitchen and see what I'm gonna eat on day one. Come on. We're in my kitchen. I will be eating this lovely fella. I've had him cooked since I started my workout, so I'll let y'all see what it looks like. Isn't he precious? Hi, honey. You're going in my stomach. Well, that's pretty much all I'm going to be eating for day one. Let me show y'all. I have in my fridge. So cool. I'm excited. I know you guys have probably heard of this before. But look at this bag is not lying. Cotton candy grapes. And they really do taste like cotton candy. And then I also have peach mango juice if I want it. If I want it. And I might end up making 
this chicken fried rice. So, and we got some fruit down here, so I might be doing that too. I don't know. We'll just have to see, but this is day one, and yeah. Hello to Maxwell. Hi, Manya. Hi, Buggy Buggy. Hi, my mama. Hi, Bubby. Hi. That's Maxwell. Okay, guys, so it is day two, and I went ahead and ate some fried rice from last night. Oh my god, this looks so bad. Everything's just been thrown off kilter today, mainly because I woke up at like one something because I ended up last night eating past nine because I cooked really late. So because I cooked really late, I had to push it off eating today till two instead of one. My stomach was growling. I was able to ignore the growling. So that was something that was very interesting. I still look super big. Like I just, I still look like a blowfish. It is what it is. But yeah, so this is day two. I'm literally just eating my fried rice. And I don't know, maybe today I might eat something else. But I will say doing this fasting thing, I kind of, in a way, like, I'm not hungry. I ate my fried rice and I'm not hungry, but it is like five. So I have to get my workout in for the day. I haven't been able to work out yet. So yeah, but um, that's just a quick update for day two. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay guys, so it is day three, like I said before. As soon as I got up, I got a orange and that was really good. And then I got a banana because I haven't worked out yet. So I want energy that I can work out on. And then I decided to make Brussels sprouts, which are all gone now. And I put hot sauce on top of the Brussels sprouts. So that has been my meal uh, so far. But yeah, that's pretty much all that I'm going to be eating and now I'm about to work out. I don't know if I'll be eating anything else for dinner. Like I said, the more that I do this intermittent fasting thing, the more that I'm starting to realize, yeah, I do get hungry. Like I told you, my stomach was growling earlier, but when it's gone, it's gone. And then like once I start eating, I get full. Like I forced my, I don't think y'all understand. I forced myself to eat Brussels sprouts. I forced myself to eat those. I love Brussels sprouts, but I forced myself to eat the Brussels sprouts simply because when I ate my orange and when I ate my banana, I was full. So then I took Brussels sprouts and a glass of water, a full glass of water. And yeah, like I just kind of don't want any more food for the day. If it does come down to like me wanting more food then I will get it like I want you guys to understand I'm not starving myself like that's not what intermittent fasting is so yeah day three see y'all on day four guys this may alter my results but I have caved it's 12 at night and I don't know why but freaking potato chips these potato chips along with ketchup and pepper were on my mind i broke my fast but there's always tomorrow hopefully this doesn't this doesn't do something too crazy and my results aren't terrible but i am human i'm human so update on the update um i don't know if this is like the fasting, I have no idea, but guys, my metabolism is already falling in line with this fasting. I've fasted now for three days, and when I tell y'all I didn't even eat that many chips, like, there were not that many chips left in the bag. It's not like I opened up a whole bag of potato chips. Like, I'm just finishing out the bag, and, like, when I tell y'all I feel sick, I feel like I've eaten too much, and coming from somebody who usually eats everything all the time, you never feel like you've eaten too much. The fact that I physically feel sick is insane. So this fasting thing is something. I will see y'all for day four.
okay guys so i went ahead and made i'll show you guys what i made for the day since it is day what day four it's day four and i will show y'all what i made i went ahead and made a shrimp vegetable pasta it was just a quick little thing made out of a frozen bag. I ate that earlier. And when I say earlier, I'm talking about maybe two to three hours ago. So I'm hungry again. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat a snack of apples and oranges. Now, like I said, I'm not really limiting myself on what I can eat, but at the same time, I don't know, you do this and then like you kind of feel like maybe you should eat on the healthier side. Now, like I said, I don't really wanna limit what I should eat. If my body really wanted something else, I would. But honestly, right now, I'm not even hungry, even after eating like three hours ago, I'm not even hungry, but I'm still going to go ahead and cut up these apples and oranges, just something to give me energy after my workout. I think that's all I'm going to do. I do feel really bad for breaking and eating chips last night, so I kind of want to make that up today, but like I said, I'm not being strict. I'm not being strict, I'm just being strict, <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and eat these apples and oranges on a bowl and I will see you guys for day five because I'm pretty sure I'm not even going to go ahead and eat anything else after this today. And if, if I do, I'll probably just get more of my pasta because I'm really not hungry. I've been filling up on water and stuff like that. So yeah, see y'all for day five. Hey guys, so, um, I have not begun my workout yet and it is four in the afternoon um i was getting some stuff done i'm in college so i'm just trying to finish everything up so i can get my degree that's why it's taken me so long to get to what i need to do but um yeah so as far as pretty much lunch or dinner goes since it's day five i'm probably just going to do this pasta like I said, I'm not really counting calories. I'm just eating what's in my allotted amount of time. I may eat vegetables too. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I did wake up this morning and eat about maybe not even a handful of potato chips. Like, not even a handful of potato chips. So, I did do that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know. I may go grocery shopping later. And if I do go grocery shopping later, then I'll probably end up just eating some fruit. But yeah, that's, that's that. Oh, and I did have a small amount of the pasta that I made for yesterday. Ate the rest of that. I didn't even eat, really eat the rest of it. Like it wasn't a lot left. So I just ate a little bit. I'm about to begin my workout. I'm probably going to eat a banana before my workout just so I can have some good energy. And other than that, that is what the day is looking like. So I will update y'all and see you guys on day six. Hey guys, day six, just got done with my workout. I decided to work out without food in my stomach. There's a science behind it, just go Google it. I'm really hungry right now. I just wanted to let you guys know, I am gonna make that pasta today. And honestly, I'm starving right now. So like, I don't know what I'm gonna do because it says like, it's 380 calories per serving. 380 calories per serving, but for one serving, it's only a cup. So I don't know if I'm only gonna be eating a cup of pasta. I might actually end up eating the whole bag, which actually turns out to be a thousand calories. It's better than what I've been doing. It's still a caloric deficit because I used to consume like five to 6,000 calories a day. So I think I'll be okay. But then again, I don't know. I'm going to drink a full bottle of water first. My lips are so ashy. I'm sorry. I'm going to drink a full bottle of water first and then see how I feel. And I'll eat the pasta, put it up. If I want more, I'll eat it. I'm going grocery shopping. So who knows? I just wanted to give y'all a quick update on day six. See y'all for day seven. Okay, guys. So, I just got on my workout. I'm about to go eat food. Come into my kitchen so I can show you my food since it's, what, day seven? It's day seven. Day seven of this um, 
what am I doing again? Intermittent fasting. I can't even think. Like, I'm so sweaty from my workout. Now, before y'all judge me and be like, girl, if you just got done working out, why you got makeup on? That's only because, only because I went to church and I had to get right into my workout. Didn't have time to worry about taking makeup off. So, we look like bozo the clown today. Like, it just is what it is. But, anyway, um... So I went grocery shopping last night and I think today I'm going to have me some spaghetti squash. I'm going to eat some of these cashews and I'm going to eat avocados. But what I want to talk to you guys about is yesterday I decided to start tracking my calories. Now I know I told you guys that I wasn't going to really focus on the stuff that I ate. But at the same time, in order for me to lose weight, I have to be under a certain number of calories. So... When I did my research, it turns out I have to be under like 224. Yesterday, I got upset because I thought that the average intake of calories you could do to lose weight was 1500 or below. But it turns out from my height, my body type, and me being a female, I need like 224. And that's like 2224. You know what I'm saying? So I was good, even though my calorie intake yesterday was like 16 something. I thought I failed, but apparently I did not. So that's good to know that I have more leeway when it comes to calories. But I don't think that it's something that I'm going to um, necessarily back down from. Even though I can go over 1500, I still don't think that I want to go over 1500, if that makes any sense at all. So yeah, that's just kind of what I'm dealing with. Oh, did y'all know that bananas are 105 calories? I did not know that until yesterday. I'm a little upset. Anyways, um, I'm going to eat an avocado with salt and pepper for sure. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and eat me some cashews. And after that, I'm probably going to go ahead and eat me some spaghetti squash. Oh, I know for a fact I'm eating me some pot stickers today. You know those Chinese pot stickers? I'm eating those. And I may eat one of my 200 calorie meals today. Um, actually, I know I'm going to eat one of my 200 calorie meals today. So, yeah. But that's it for day seven. See you guys day eight. Update, guys. It's it's day seven, right? And y'all know what I just told y'all that I was planning on eating for the day. It didn't even get to that. I don't know if it's the intermittent fasting or if it's because I worked out. I have no earthly idea. But I remember hearing something that's strange that people found out thin people do is they chew their food. Like, they really chew their food for a long time. So, I'm sitting here after my workout and I'm like, I'm starving. Like, I told y'all I was going to eat this. I was going to eat that. I was going to eat this. I put my... 200 calorie meal it was like 250 230 calories in the microwave let it heat up turns out i start scarfing it down right like i start scarfing it down because i'm like i'm, I'm starving i deserve this i haven't eaten I only have four hours left i gotta eat it when i tell you that i physically can't eat anymore and this is coming from somebody that loves food. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's the fast. I don't know what it is. But y'all, I physically feel sick. No, like I feel sick as in like, oh, I'm gonna throw up. I feel like I ate too much. Like that is beyond me. Literally, all I ate was like cashews. Like I told y'all, I ate like 10, 15 cashews. And then by the time I was done eating my cashews, I was kind of full. I was like, that was just cashews. How am I going to be full from cashews? So then I put my meal in the microwave, heat it up, take it out. I start eating. And I'm noticing that I'm scarfing it down because I bit my lip. And my lip has already been bit from when I scarfed my food down the other time. I don't like when my lip is bitten. And so I'm eating it. And then I'm like, just chew it slowly, see what happens start chewing it slowly when I tell y'all I didn't even think I could finish the last little bit of noodles but I'm not the type of person to waste I think going on this journey I am going to have to learn how to waste and that's sad to say but there shouldn't always be a reason to have to eat your whole plate yes I know people are starving but 
if that's what it comes with. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to pile your plate. But if you have a plate that's already prepared and, like, all you got to do is nuke it, then, you know, that at that point, you don't have to eat it all. And I think I'm going to have to accept that. It's just really weird for me because, like I said, this is coming from somebody who loves food. I've, I have always loved food. And for me, me of all people to be like, I'm full after one small little bowl. Like, I don't think y'all understand how small these things are. Like, let me, holy crap, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Let me show y'all, just so y'all know, just so y'all can get a bit of an idea. These things, these things, like the size of my hand. And this is the thing, it may even look full, but it's not because once it's all heated up and the noodles are melted down, it's like half of this. And I'm full from that. What kind of sorcery? Holy heck. I don't know guys, um, intermittent fasting working some wonders don't know if i see results yet stomach wise but oh my god my stomach hurts i'm gonna go but yeah i just wanted to update y'all i'm probably not gonna eat anything else for the day unless what time is this like five six i might might eat my pot stickers before i go to bed then again i don't know it depends on when my stomach stops hurting like my stomach hurts as if I ate a buffet, and I haven't. I have not eaten a buffet, so I'm just really, like, you got to see where I'm coming from here. All right, for all though, I'll see y'all day. Hello, everybody. So this is day... Is today Monday? Yeah. This is day eight. Yes, day eight. So, 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 I just got done with my workout. It's like five in the afternoon. And I plan on eating a 310 calorie meal, which is the mm, the Power Bowl. Just so y'all know what it looks like, just so y'all know. This is what I'm eating. That's what it looks like on the back. They're super good, super delicious, super healthy, super nutritious. I love them. So I'm gonna eat that. I've already eaten cashews earlier. I'm starting to think cashews are gonna be a problem for me. But that set aside, probably eat some spaghetti squash today if I'm hungry. I may not be hungry after my um, Power Bowl, but we'll see. Other than that, unless I have like an avocado or something, depending on how many calories are in it, then yeah, that's pretty much going to be all I eat today. However, I do want to let all you guys know, I'm not going to say that yesterday I messed up because I don't consider it messing up. But yesterday I did have me a slice of apple pie only because I'm not restricting myself. I don't think there's anything wrong with having anything sweet as long as I limit myself to like something sweet like once a week. So yesterday I had apple pie, but the issue is had apple pie with chocolate ice cream on top. So apple pie all about. And well, you can see the problem there. So I'm sure the calories piled up there, but just go hard at it today and just kind of stick with what I already have and I mean I've already had my one sweet thing for the week um be, you know so yeah I will see you guys day nine hi guys so it is day nine I can't think just got done with my workout y'all know by now um so we have to talk oh god basically what I want to talk to you guys about is that this journey, it's not easy. And I know y'all are probably just expecting an update on day nine for what happened or like what's going to happen for the day. But I have to be fully honest. I can't not be honest. It wouldn't make sense to me. I'm sorry. I don't know if y'all can see me. Basically, I broke. I broke last night and it's a bit emotional because guys this is so hard it's so hard um it's not easy when you love food and 
you know, I try, I'm only human, but last night I tried to, I tried to fight it off. I think where I went, well, let me just tell you what I did. I think I had a binge session because I saw my sister sit down with a piece of carrot cake and I was like, Oh my God, that carrot cake looks good. And guys, I don't even like carrot cake because I'm not a fan of carrots like that. So I was like, that carrot cake looks good. And I knew there was a, a pie, an apple pie in the fridge. And I was like, I'm gonna go get a piece of that apple pie. And my sister was like, don't do it. And I did it, guys. But that I didn't stop there. I'm trying to be strong here because it's like so dramatic. <laughs> But I ate a piece of pie. No, I gotta be fully honest. I ate a big piece of pie and I ate it with ice cream. And then I was like, wow, you screwed up because you were supposed to be fasting. I ate that pie around like 9-11. After that, I was like, well, you screwed it up now. So then I came back in the kitchen. I was like, I'll eat something healthy on top of it. So I ate me some spaghetti squash. And for whatever reason, even though my stomach was like, girl, I'm full, I was still eating. I came back in the kitchen and I ate shrimp and I ate all my cashews. I ate the whole pack of shrimp. And then after that, I ate a bowl of cereal. Guys, I can't tell you why I ate the things I did because it's like, what a weird combination. Okay, side note, the skin is really clear right now, but that's irrelevant. I broke and I just wanna be honest with y'all because this journey isn't easy. Fasting isn't easy. I thought it was, for the most part I did. I thought it was, I was like, wow, eat at one, stop at nine, like, it's not all what it's cracked up to be. I wanna be honest there. I won't do it again because I've come so far. I've come so far just feeling good, eating better, working out well. The fact that I worked out the way that I did today on top of that pie and everything I ate last night is insane to me because honestly, I feel like I was powerful today, but it's like, was I powerful because I was killing it with the you know killing it because oh girl you ate all that last night so you got to kill it today or was i killing it because i had the energy i don't know i don't know but i do know i won't do it again and i've been watching my calories and honestly guys to be honest with y'all i did not go over my calorie limit eating everything last night i just broke my fast but the thing is i want to stay under my calorie limit so i can lose weight each week and i want to stay on my fast so I had to be honest there. Whew, now today, I am eating my 200 calorie meal. Then after that, if I'm still hungry, I'll probably have an avocado with salt and pepper. And if I feel like snacking later, I'll probably have some fruit like pineapple and strawberries or an orange and a banana, I don't know. So yeah, I wanna keep it super clean tonight because last night was not good and I wanna keep up with my progress. I, there's no need to backtrack. I'm gonna just fill up on water because I have a busy day ahead of me anyway. I gotta study for my final exams. And so when I'm done with that, then I can fully put my mind on everything. But right now I gotta focus on finals. So yeah, because I have to study, I won't be eating at all anyway. So yeah. One more thing I wanted to say because it is day nine. I just wanna say guys, my cheeks, I could, I could be losing my mind, but my cheeks look like they have a natural contour. Like, could I already be losing weight in my face first? I don't know. I will talk to you guys on day 10. Can't wait. Can't wait till this is over. Okay. So here you guys, I just wanted y'all to see that in order to fill up on water, I was drinking out of a gallon water bottle i drink about three a day it is day 10 day 10 as you can see i just got done with my workout and um i was gonna say something oh yeah so i did something i didn't do anything bad not i didn't do another pie mistake no we are better than that um 
I ate uh, like literally a 240 calorie pizza. Didn't even eat the whole pizza. I ate it before my workout. And I'll never do it again. Now I know what y'all are thinking. You shouldn't work out on an empty stomach. But I'm going to need to. Because the whole time during my workout, I was very uncomfortable. And I had major, major heartburn. So never again. Meaning I will always work out on an empty stomach. So yeah, tried it. Didn't like it. And we move on. We prevail. So anyway, I today I'm probably just going to have the pizza, maybe an avocado. I might, might eat a crab cake. I don't know. And I'm probably going to have some pineapple. Other than that, when nine o'clock hits, I'm done. It's already, see that? It's already seven. It's already seven. So pretty much, yeah, that's all for day 10. Um, yeah. So I will see you guys. Oh, I do want to let y'all know that it was really hard. It was so hard for me last night not to break my fast. I literally opened a bag of chips and smelled them. I smelled the bag of chips to, to stop me from being hungry. Now maybe it could be because I was still up. I stayed up really late last night studying for my final exam in my law class. So maybe that's what it was because like if you're asleep, you're not worried about eating. I go to bed hungry and be fine if I go to sleep. I've never had sleep for dinner, you know? So, yeah, I had to literally open up a bag of chips and smell the bag of chips to, like, make myself not hungry. It's a problem. Anyway, let's hope I get through today. See y'all day 11. Hey guys, so today is a day, day 13, meaning tomorrow is the very last day. And today for meal for lunch, I can't talk because I just got done working out. So y'all already know the deal. But I'm gonna go ahead and have my Powerball, my Korean inspired, bowl um, it's from healthy choice it's one of those 200 calorie meals i was telling you guys about this one i believe is only 210 calories honestly though i'm not even that hungry i just ate a strawberry so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and explain real quick i did not film day 11 and day 12. the reason i didn't film day 11 was actually because i did not work out that day bummer so I didn't work out so I didn't even do my this you know I didn't go ahead and tell you guys what I ate because I was just like it wasn't even that I was upset it was more like I was really tired that day and so I just never even got to working out and get to that yet so that's that day 12 which was yesterday I actually just did not get to film it so yeah but I did do my fasting I broke my fast kind of but not really I only consider it breaking the fast if you you know go outside of the hour limit and then the next day you start on your regular hour limit so like me last night I went ahead and I got some more food and that was around like 12 so today I was not supposed to eat till 4 but my workout just got done a couple minutes ago, so it's six now. So I've done my 16 hours. My 16 hours have actually turned into 18 hours. So who knows, maybe next time I'll be able to do the 20 hour, um, the 24 fasting thing, we'll see. But yeah, so that's what's going on with that. I will probably eat this Power Bowl and then if I'm hungry later, I'll go ahead and make some spaghetti squash. And if I'm hungry after that, then I will probably, I don't know, maybe eat an avocado and a pickle. I really like just ending my day with an avocado and a pickle. Sounds really weird, but yeah. So see you guys for day 13 with results. I mean, oh wow, I can't think. Day 14, last day with results.
Okay guys, so this is the very last day for my intermittent fasting, woo! Kidding, kidding. This was just the two week challenge that I decided to do, try it for two weeks, see what goes on. I will go ahead and just say right now, intermittent fasting, I love it and it's definitely gonna be a part of my life for a very long time because I just think that is the way. I think that is the way. So I'm really, really excited to show you guys these results for my intermittent fasting. Also, since today is the last day, I will be eating salmon. My mom made salmon. So I'm going to be eating salmon and I'll probably eat a salad with it. I don't know. I don't, th I don't know. Maybe I might do that just for the vegetables. But after the salad, I'm just going to eat like my plums because I bought plums. So I'm going to eat a plum, probably an orange. Mm, don't know about a strawberry. Plums and plums and oranges today. And then I think for dinner, because it's getting close to nine, for dinner I'll have an avocado. But it's like six, close to seven. So I haven't eaten till now. I haven't eaten till now, you guys. It's fine. So that's what I'll be having today. And then... We will go ahead and get into the results of my intermittent fasting. Okay, guys. So in day one, you see I look like Winnie the Pooh. And day 14, I am trying to show you guys that I have gotten definition in my abdominal region, which is obviously due to working out. But if it wasn't for intermittent fasting, I know for a fact I wouldn't have seen these results. Also, just to add in, I did lose a good bit of back fat, but I still have more to go. I just want to let y'all know I picked the absolute wrong day to show you guys results because I am bloated. I am on my period, okay? Periodico. And so I'm highly bloated. So you'll either see the results or you won't. But I think it's still pretty visible. I am literally using the flashlight from my Apple Watch to finish this video out, but um... That makes the end of the video. I don't know why I didn't have an intro filmed. That is so weird to me. I thought I did have one. It's fine. We prevail. But yeah, so that's the end of this video. And now you know what I practically ate to get the results that I did doing the Chloe Ting challenge and um, pretty much the blueprint that I'm going to be on for my entire weight loss journey. So now you guys know. And like I said, that is all. So, you know, if you like the video, you'll like the video. And if you like me, you'll subscribe before you guys go. Remember to always stay inspired, break the molds, and be unique. And with all that being said, Mimi, love you. Out. Hey,